This is Emily Striegel from Talking Metal coming live from M3 Rock Festival in Columbia, Maryland. And I'm so excited right now to be sitting here with Vixen. How you doing, ladies? Hi, we're awesome. Why don't we're you introduce good. yourselves? Hey, hey, Emily, this is Cher Ross with Vixen. And this is Brett Lightning with Vixen. <laughs> and Cher, you've been with Vixen from the very beginning. I'm really excited to have Britt here for the interview because she's the newest member. I want to start off the interview just talking a little bit about how you came about doing this. Uh, how did you get? How did you meet the girls and get to be the new guitarist of Vixen? Well, um, I think it was a combination of some friends maybe recommending me to you guys, and then I think maybe Larry saw me play at um, one of the Monsters of Rock uh, crews pre parties. And um, Larry's our manager. Yes. And, um, yeah, so we kind of got together and jammed a few songs, and it worked out. Yeah. And super happy to be here. It's an honor to be playing with these ladies because they're legends, and they're amazing. Well, I'm so excited to see you rock out later today. Thank you. And I already got to see Cher yesterday. I think I'm going to get the guys from Faster Pussycat later this afternoon, but our listeners will know by the time this airs that Tammy down has come down with pneumonia. And yeah. so we heard earlier in the day that this had happened and he was hospitalized and we're, so we're all, we were all, you know, praying for Tammy. I think he's doing okay today, um, possibly released from the hospital, but the show must go on, right? We didn't know yes. whether it would go on or not. And I was hearing all sorts of rumors swirling. And so Chad, the drummer, started out doing, you know, a couple songs and I know Danny did some songs, but the first guest vocalist to come out was Cher Ross. So how was that? How did that come about? Did oh. they just call you and say, Yeah, I got I got a well, I'm good friends with all those guys. We go way, way, way back. And um, you know, it's a big rock and roll family. So when something goes down, you reach out to everybody, say, Can you help us out? Can you help us out? Hey, we got shit going on, help us out, please. And so I got a um, I think you were talking to somebody on the phone, and then you passed the phone to me, and you were like, it's Chad. And I'm like, what's up? What, and we were just, weren't we getting on the plane? We were just boarding oh the plane. We, we were just yeah, getting we, on a plane to, yes. to come So you here. guys just came in yesterday. Yeah. You're getting on the plane. So I'm getting on the plane, and then I got the call, and then I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that. And, <laughs> um, and then I texted my husband, and I said, I just found this live video of House of Pain. Can you please transfer it into an mp3 so I could put it in my Dropbox and make it available <laughs> offline on my phone so I can listen to it the whole time I'm on the airplane I'm like I'm, I don't want to embarrass them the last thing I want to do is embarrass my boys so like I it made was sure that I it was it. so heartwarming to me I was just like my heart was exploding the way everyone came together you know to fill in for Tammy when he was sick it was really cool and it says Aww. something about your community because like the one thing like I'm just kind of like this observer on on Twitter I love to see the little conversations that take place and doing a podcast we meet a lot of people and you know the relationships that you guys have like all the bands still have after all these years that go back is just amazing to me and yesterday was just testament to that to see uh, yeah, everyone yeah. just like coming up to the plate I agree I mean it, it's just a big family cool. it really is like family and we all have to be there for each other when crazy shit goes on yeah. you know we're all out there and it's like oh it's all great but when something happens and something somebody ends up in a hospital or something yeah that's when you got to pull together exactly and so you, is this your first m3 or did, were you guys here last year this is our third M3. Your third. Yeah, we weren't here last year, though. This is the year before. I know you did Monsters of Rock this year, right? Did you do East and West Coast this year? We did. Oh, gosh. Now you're testing me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We did East and West last year. We didn't do it this year. We're doing it next year. Okay. And... <laughs> And now let's talk a little bit about you guys reuniting. So the original members, um, Janet, Cher, Roxy, you guys were planning, Jan was planning, Jan, the original guitarist, was planning a reunion back in 2012 when she was diagnosed with cancer. And so tell me a little bit about like the, the timeline there, because I know in t by 2014, you guys played Monsters of Rock, I think was your first, Monsters of Rock's Cruise mm -hmm. was one of your first shows yeah. without her. So tell me a little bit about that whole timeline and that experience and what happened. Sure. Um, I mean, it started with us just getting on the phone with each other and saying, hey, you know, let's let's get back together and let's do this again. And, 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 and it felt really good. And then we were starting to get a, a few gigs coming in and then we were writing the press release. And then she called up and said, hey, guys, I have to tell you something. And then she said, you know, I've got cancer. And we said, OK, well, what do you want to do? What, like, how, how bad is it? Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it was a it was a lot of conversations from that point, And then it just became about um, she's was an extremely private person. She did not want it to be public. You know, we totally had to respect that. 
So w- it was weird because that's we awkward. W- yeah. When the press is the press they're knows that there's us. a buzz. Yeah, yeah, they're like, well, where's Jan? Where? So we went out without yeah. her because, and then we, we didn't want to call ourselves Vixen because we thought she would come back. Right. And there yep. would be no entrance. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So we so we thought we would go out as JSRG until she was well, and then when she was well, then we would become Vixen because if we called ourselves Vixen and then she came back, it was like there was just it was like the air had been let out of the balloon. Yeah. So it made no sense to go out as Vixen at that time. So that's why we went out as JSRG. And then people were like going, well, where's Jan? That's horrible that she's not yeah. with you. And we're like, no, no, it's not horrible. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> really but awkward. were you like, you, know, you can't say, say anything. anything. No, we couldn't. And she just, you know, I think she just wanted to have that, that space. Yeah. So, um, and everyone and then, handles that differently. Because totally. look, look at all the battles that are happening publicly with cancer. Like we just saw right. Vivian Campbell. You know, with yes. Last in Line. I've seen him with Def Leppard a thousand times. Yes. Yes. He looks better than he's ever looked. And he's yeah. been pretty public about his battle. Yeah. And he, he was on the podcast. And really, he's just taking it day by day. I mean, he does not. Totally. He's still not in the clear. Some people like to handle it very differently or very, very yes. private. Yes. But it does make it awkward for the band when, you know, I know. you're like, well, what do we say? <laughs> what do we we're say? Not what being, are we gonna we're do? not being disrespectful in any way. We yeah. love her. And, yeah. and, and, and in, in your hearts, you really felt like, we're going to be back together. She's oh, going to beat this. Yeah, absolutely. And then when she didn't. It happened very suddenly. Like she was getting did. better, getting better, getting better, getting better. And then all of a sudden, um, it was months of her getting better. And then there was just a three week decline and she died. It was literally That's like, crazy. Uh oh, she's not doing well. Oh, she's doing worse. Oh, she's doing worse. And then yeah. she was gone. And so then we just didn't know what You're to do. Shocked. So we just sort of, yeah, we, you know, we carried on as Vixen we just said, okay, well, let's be Vixen then. And, um, you know, thankfully, Gina was our guitar player then, and she stayed with us through all that. And Good. She was awesome. I was speaking with Lon Friend last night. So Lon all that Friend. Lon Friend. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> and because I saw you, with, uh, you were talking with Ace from Faster Pussycat. This whole festival is so much fun. It feels like a reunion, doesn't it? I'm like, and this person and that person. But Lon said that you were in a Guns N' Roses cover band in L.A. and you played his 50th birthday party, which is probably the funnest thing ever. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really cool. Um, that was fun. Yeah, they were called Paradise Kitty. And, yeah, I was doing the, the slash parts. And uh, we played on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. Um, now, I need this to see this. Year, and and he, oh, uh, so that's how, yeah, we kind of got the connection here, too. So, yeah. A good friend of ours does Judas Priestess. Militia. Militia. I worked Do you know with Militia? her. Yeah, I worked with her in a musical in New York City. Like, you did oh, not. Yeah, like 2007. Yeah. You, like you played? Yes. In Militia. What was, was it? Her. I want to hear this. It was this. called Chick Six. Stop uh, it. It was like this all-girl superhero broad, like off-Broadway what? musical. Yeah. And then oh the drummer of Judas Priestess was the drummer in my very first band back in Boston. It's the most so. incestuous <laughs> it is. It's it's a community. Small world. <laughs> and she's like pure sunshine. Like, I'm glad that we're videotaping this because you can see that she radiates energy. Yeah. She's a perfect fit oh. for Vixen. Totally. And I'm so excited. So I've heard rumblings of demos, possibly. What's happened? I mean, you guys all have your own lives. So I want to know about, like, what are you doing when you're not touring? And are you writing? Or do you do side projects? Or, like, what's going on? <laughs> all of the above. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, we have de- definitely now that Brit's here as well. We're like the the riff ideas are flying around. We're probably going to start working on stuff just you know cyberspace wise. You know everybody doing it in their own setting. Where are you guys all spread out? We are all spread out. You are yeah. That California, makes it difficult. Florida, Connecticut, and Michigan. Holy moly! Yeah. So, but a lot the of four email. corners. Yes, <laughs> pretty much. So we're going to be like flying all the demo ideas around and stuff. And we've already yeah. started working on some really cool stuff. But then everybody has solo stuff as well. They're doing you know Roxy's and Madam X. Um, she's yes. also got another thing with her sister called um, VIP After Show that Mark Slaughter sang on the first two singles. And then Janet's just putting out her first solo stuff called Janet Gardner. And then um, I've had Bubble for about 20 years, but I also have another thing now with my husband. Bubble's with my husband as well. But the other thing is called <laughs> Twin Flames, which is, that's just out there. <laughs> but you're not busy at all is what you're saying. No, There's no, nothing no. going on. And that's just the no. stuff we do for kicks. You know what I mean? It's like I'm still a life coach and I do all that stuff as well. And then Britt's got a million things going. Um, not a million. <laughs> now, now I feel on the spot. Um. <laughs> that's how we like to do it. Yeah. That's how we, it's a hazing. She's the new girl. We're going to haze her. I'm like, oh, I got nothing. No, um, 
uh, yeah, I'm just working on some writing a lot too, and um, just coming up with some some solo stuff as well. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And do you sing? Um, as well? a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I do like backups and harmonies and stuff like that. Very cool. Me. Yeah. And I'll tell you a funny story. When we were rehearsing for the first time in Detroit, like official rehearsals, we have Brit Lightning, right? Yeah. And there's this other. We were. It's kind of like a. A studio setup where bands go in there to mostly record so in an in a neighboring room was all these dudes right and they're leaning in the window and they're watching us rehearse <laughs> and they're just they're just like getting beers watching us <laughs> and it started to become That's like awesome. funny right and then <laughs> afterwards um they came in and they and they didn't they had no idea who we were they're just like wow you guys sound really good what's the name of the band <laughs> we're like oh it's um vixen and they're like oh okay and then they walked really? out and they came back and they're like like wait like that vixen and we're like <laughs> and yeah like, yeah that vixen that vixen and then um about a week later it turns out they called brit oh yes to do a track on their new album <laughs> no way <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was funny she's so. everywhere she's <laughs> everywhere i love it i love it i can't wait to see you guys play later today thanks for being here and i know you guys have some more shows and more dates coming up so cool. good luck with everything thanks for being thank on talking you. metal Thanks a lot. Thank you.